I'm going to do some random pulls to practice decision making for Japanese Mahjong, also known as a Richi. These random pulls are kind of my what would you do scenarios when you first get your drawn tiles. You gotta figure out which Yaku to go for. Even if it's one Yaku or many, this is a great way to practice. If you need to follow along for the scoring, there's a link below the video to this quick reference that has all the Yaku in the middle. So download that if you haven't already. Also down there are links to tutorials and a primer by Dana Chiba. In there are fundamentals and strategy when you're ready. It's kind of a lot to take in at first. It's a bit overwhelming, which is why I like to do these random pulls. So let's get going. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. I have some dice that I'm going to use just to randomize which seat we're in. That's not really part of the game. It just kind of keeps things spontaneous. Then I have a Hanshin indicator. We'll alternate between east and south. I have six Tenbo here. We'll do six random pulls. So this will be the first one. Oh, let's see what seat we're in. Let's just say we're in seat south. Because I rolled a 10. Just count around the table starting with one. And that would be 10. Let's get our tiles. As a non-dealer, we get 13. So we have a wind for the Dora indicator. You just follow a progression with winds in this order. East, south, west, north. So north would be Dora. One way you can try to remember that is to say to yourself, eat soup with nuts. Eat soup with nuts. So north would be Dora. We have Dora. It's all by itself though there. You really can't do anything with numbered tiles two through eight and single honors. There's only one time you can use single honors and that's with ones and nines and we only have one. So I think what I would do here is I would try for a half flush and try to incorporate Dora right here. If we can pair up and then turn that into a pwn maybe, or even a pair would be nice, because Dora would add one Han for every tile to your winning hand. I would discard these first and play Honitsu or Half Flesh. There's pair or there's a pwn, either way. There's chi potential in here. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, we have a lot of drawing to do with BAMs and honors. But I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something differently, write random pull one and what you would do. South round, random pull two. We're gonna be this time seat two or south. Six dot is Dora. For these tiles, I think I would try for Pinfu, which is all cheese, all three in a sequence. I would get rid of these tiles here. We don't have Dora, but we do have a five. So if we draw the six dot, we might be able to incorporate it here or even here with the eight. So there's a little bit of hope for use of Dora. So I think I would try all cheese. We even have a chi right there, six, seven, eight. This is isolated. Here's a pair, isolated, isolated, potential chi. Obviously we have a lot of work to do. We need to just keep number tiles, try to fill in some gaps. I would play Pinfu and Reach. We do have seven, eight, 
nine, eight, nine. There is a slight potential there for what's called a mixed triple chi. That would be the same chi in three suits. So we have seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, eight, nine, maybe seven, eight, nine, if we can get a seven or an eight crack. So there's a little bit of hope for another Yaku that we could add to Pinfu. Pinfu reach long shot for mixed triple chi. Back to south, or that's east round. East round. And this time, let's say we're in west seat. One dot is Dora. Anytime you pull a nine, you just go all the way back to the beginning of the sequence. So this would be a one dot as Dora. I would definitely try for Pinfu here. We have no honors. We do have some terminals though. One, two, three, four. So I don't think I would try Tanyao here, which is all numbers two through eight. I would just try for Pinfu, which is all cheese. Here we have a pair. Here's a potential chi, potential chi, here's a potential chi, here's a chi right there. Or we could break that out and use the three here for a potential chi. That nine dot is the only isolated tile. So we have one, two, three, four, five potential chi's in a pair. You only need four blocks and of course a pair. So five blocks total. So I think I would want to strengthen these potential chi's so that they're a side weight. Right now, they are all closed weights. Even this here is an edge weight, which are all weak. So we would need to try to strengthen these by drawing in better number tiles or just filling them in. So here's a closed weight, we need a four bam. Here's a closed weight, we need a two crack. Here's an edge weight, oh no, 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 that's a closed weight, we need the eight crack. Here's the edge weight, we need a three dot. Or, you know what, we could just use that and discard those two. One, two, three, four, five blocks. That's better. That's a little more hopeful. <laughs> so that's already made. We need a side weight in here somewhere to qualify for Pinfu. If we didn't get that, we could reach alone and not worry about the side weight, but I think I would push for that. I would try for it. We do have Dora right there. So I would try to win as quickly as possible. If I couldn't get an edge weight, I would reach alone. Reach alone plus Dora. Let me know what you think about that random pull. That's random pull three. Back to south round, random pull four. This time we're going to be in west seat. East, south, west, north. South is Dora. Eat soup with nuts. Look at all those honors. We have south right there. That's Dora. We have a pair in here. I think what I would do is play half flesh. We have two potential cheese there. I'd try to draw in dots and pair up because we have five honors. I would hold the ones as long as possible. If we paired up, we could even switch to uh, all pwn. But right now, I would just hold them as a fallback and get rid of these first. But my primary focus, I think, would be half flesh. If you would do something different here, 
right? Random pull four and what you would do. You know what I was just thinking? There's that really special hand called 13 Orphans. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have all the wins. If we get the red and the white and the nines, and of course a one bam, that's a lot of if though. I think regardless, I would discard these first. See how the drawing goes. But I think because we have the most in dots, that's the suit I would focus on. Back to East Round. This time, 11. Let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. So that would be 3 again. West. Six dot is Dora. Quite a mixture here. One dot, three bams, five cracks, four honors. I would try for a half flush. Discard this right away. I think I would go for half flush here. Now, if we were to play Pinfu, which is all cheese, we would have four discards that way. And we have chi potential there, right in here, chi potential there, and there, two isolated tiles. The only challenge with playing half flesh in this case is these are all single honors. We would have to pair those up. So this would be a long shot, I think, but I think that's what I would do. I would try for a half flesh with cracks and honors. If you would do something different, like maybe Pinfu, write random pull five and what you would do. So we're back to south round, and this is the last random pull. This time I rolled a nine, so let's just say we're in seat one. Three Bama's Dora. That's quite a spread. We're we're the dealer here, East. So let's see here. We do have two pair, East four. We are we are in East seat, so that would be a Yaku right there. We're in the south round, so we wouldn't get the wind of the round there. Let's see. But we do have south. If we pair that up, maybe we could pwn that. I would hold that, in which case I think I would try for Honitsu. I think what I would do here too is maybe discard the four crack followed by these two because this is a potential chi here. If we drew in, mm, I like to start out one way or another. If we play Pinfu, I would discard my honors, but we have a pair in there. I don't want to do that. I would definitely try for maybe even one Yaku, my seat wind, and that's it. And then just try to chi or pwn as quickly as possible pwn here, or let that be the pair, who knows. Here's a potential chi, potential chi. These are isolated, so that's a challenge. This is isolated too, and then we have single honors. So the drawing is gonna have to go really well in this particular situation, but I think I would try for my seat wind as the Yaku. The spread in some of those random pulls were horrible. 
this is one reason why I like to do these exercises because it kind of helps me desensitize from the angst of trying to figure out what yaku to play even though from your drawn hand things are going to change as you pick and discard and as your opponents discard and make exposures you can stay flexible along the way but having kind of an idea of what you might shoot for to me is very helpful give it a try yourself if you have a set at home again if you don't have a set at home there's a link below the video to where you can get one and then also there's some links there for tutorials as well as a primer with fundamentals and strategy check that out if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for japanese mahjong also known as Richi. May all your picks be keepers.